Welcome back, my friends, to Little Church, or should I say Big Church. Let's begin in prayer. Let's touch our foreheads in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our King, you call us to share your life and be happy with you forever. Do not let us be deaf to your voice by our selfishness. Guide us along the path of love so that one day we will be worthy to be with you at heaven's great family meal and with Jesus, your Son, who lives with you forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Well, welcome back, boys and girls. Rufus is back with us today, and this time he's brought a balloon. I wonder why he's brought a balloon. I think he wants us to talk about the readings today. And both readings talk about a celebration, a banquet, or a big party. So I'd like you for a minute, if you're comfortable, to close your eyes and see if you can picture a huge birthday party or celebration. What was the food that was served? Can you picture the decorations and all the colors? Who was there? Okay, you can go ahead and open your eyes now. I want you to remember that image. We'll talk more about it in a few minutes. But let's read from Isaiah, the same prophet from last week. Isaiah said to the people, God is going to give a big banquet, a feast with all kinds of good food. This feast will be celebrated here on God's holy mountain, and God will destroy all evil that has hurt people of every nation. God will destroy the power of death and wipe away the tears from everyone's eyes. God will forgive everyone who has sinned. This will happen because our God said it would. And when it happens, people will say, this is the God we have been waiting for, the God who will save us. So let us be glad and rejoice in salvation. Yes, the hand of God is here and will stay on this holy mountain. God will be with us forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So that reading from Isaiah is all about an amazing banquet, an amazing feast that will happen in heaven and is happening now with all of our loved ones who have already gone to heaven. There's so much joy there, so much love. There's no tears and no sadness, only joy. And our gospel reading, it talks about a banquet as well. Only this banquet is happening on earth now. So let's read it from the Gospel of Matthew. One day, Jesus told this story to the chief priests and leaders. Once there was a king who gave a big feast for his son's wedding. But when the servants went to get all the people who were invited, they wouldn't come. So the king said to the servants, Go and tell them that the feast is ready, and I have prepared a wonderful dinner for them. Everything is ready. Come to the feast. But the people who were invited didn't care. They stayed home and took care of their farms and businesses. Some of them hurt and even killed the servants who came to tell them that it was time to come. The king was angry, and he sent his soldiers to punish those people. Then he said to some of the other servants, the wedding is ready, but the people we invited weren't good enough to come. Go now into the towns and invite anyone you see. So the servants went out and invited everyone, good people and bad people, and soon the wedding hall was filled with people. The Gospel of the Lord. So this banquet that Jesus talks about happens every Sunday for sure, and sometimes every day. And Jesus is talking about the Mass. So when we go to church and we attend that service, that Mass, it is so spectacular. 
Sometimes we go and it might seem a little boring, but I promise you the miracles that are happening that we can't see are so magnificent. They're like to remember that birthday party or that celebration you closed your eyes and pictured. Well, this banquet is even more glorious, even more spectacular. So going to Mass is a beautiful thing, and God is calling us to do that. So if that's possible, and I know you're too young to take yourself, but when you go there, try to imagine it as a beautiful feast, a beautiful banquet where we receive God's love in his son, Jesus. All right, we'll close now with our prayer. Let's bless ourselves again in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Dear God, my Father, who loves me so much, thank you for inviting me to your party in heaven and to your party here on earth at Mass. I want to come to your feast. Help me always to accept your invitation through Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful week, my friends. Take care, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.